fun. I need to, um, I need to cover something on the box. Um, give me one second. Hi! Guys, I am so excited. Early squad, yes, very early. Um, I'm just gonna cover something really quickly. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I am so excited. Okay, I think that's good enough. But I am so excited. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope everything's okay. Um, we're going to be unboxing my Zag box. I need to make sure I'm like covering the front here. We're going to be unboxing this. And so, hello, Jay. Um, normally, when I do my unboxings for this kind of stuff, I tend to look inside, like, what's inside. I tend to take um, a bit more of a sneak peek. But this time, I did not look. So I'm extra excited because of that. Um, but yeah, so this is the Zag subscription box. You can find it on the Zag store. And basically, you can either choose a small box or a medium. This is the medium one. And you get it every month. So every month, I'm going to be doing these unboxings. And I'm so excited. So I'm just going to give it like a minute or two more until I get to opening these this um i'm doing good so there's a good chance that today we are going to get a spoiler which is actually exciting because like i know a lot of people are having mixed feelings right now after how gloob spoiled wishmaker but the thing is um personally i think that this spoiler that we could be getting today will be for the episode Dearest Family. If not, then like a totally new episode maybe that we've never heard of. Um, and I just say, I'm like, it's not like we're never gonna not get spoilers again. You know what I'm saying? But the spoilers I don't like from Gloob are the ones that they post like the day of the episode. Like I don't want any more spoilers when the episode comes that day, if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, so I just want to let you guys know, if anyone's on the live and they're like, okay, I don't want to get the spoilers today, stay off my channel today, please. I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but you guys know, I share the news as soon as it comes out because I love spoilers, obviously to a certain extent. Um, so that's what's going to be happening today, but I'm going to just, we're just going to get into this now. So let's, I'm so excited. This is my first ever subscription box from the Zag store. But I'll give you guys the first look in the inside. I don't even know if you'll be able to see anything, but let's see. Can you even see anything? Dun, da, da, da. Okay, let's get to opening. Okay, <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Wait, <gasps> whoa, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I gotta calm down. <laughs> So the first thing is this mouse pad. Look at this! What? Oh my god. I see some people asking how much is it. So it depends where you are. And like I said earlier, there is a small box and there's a medium box. So the medium box that I got is more expensive. But the small box, uh, it's a bit cheaper, I'm pretty sure. Um, let me just open this. But yeah, and also for like shipping, it depends where you are. Oh my God, this is so nice, what? So this is a mouse pad. This is the first item in the box. And I actually do have another Miraculous mouse pad. I just got it like maybe two weeks ago. I don't know, it wasn't that long ago. But look, this is the one that I got um, like a few weeks ago. And then this is the one that I just got. This is so cute. Um, Okay, next item, guys. I'm freaking out. What? Wait! Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. Wait! This is a Kwame surprise. Wait. Oh, my God. I was going to order one of these. I'm so excited. So, inside here, there is a mystery Kwame. So, let's open it. So, I'm like... They have Jusu and Fluff on the side of the box here. I don't even know if... They have the the Kwamis like this. I know that they have like ways, tricks, I think. I don't know. Guys, I'm so excited. Wait, this is so awesome. Oh my goodness. 
And as always, I'll like end up chatting with you guys once I'm like done unboxing everything. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. This is so cute. I was gonna order one of these from the sack store. Okay, where do we open this? Okay, so it's like we're opening the box. Dun, 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 dun. We've got a bag. I think just from feeling it, I'll be able to tell who it is. Wait, this is Tiki. This has got to be Tiki. Watch me be wrong. <laughs> um, I think that this is Tiki. Feels like Tiki. I think so. Oh my god, it's Trix! Ah! Look at Trix! Wait! Oh my god, and she's holding the Miraculous. Whoa! These are bigger than I thought, but they're actually really nice. Oh my goodness. Where's my... I have um, a Trix from a Kinder Egg that I got. Oh, there she is. There are Trixes. I think Trix is a key. I don't know. Look! Wow, this is so cute! Oh my gosh! Okay, I don't want to um, spend too much time on that one, but these are so cute and I can't believe they put it in the subscription boxes. Oh my god. Okay, so we've opened two items and there's a couple more. The next one is their new fridge magnets and it looks like this. It's Tiki eating a cookie. I mean, kind of funny considering that in Dearest Family, Tiki is going to make a giant lucky charm. Oh my god. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. I love. Um, somebody asked what Trix's uh, gender is or like pronouns. It's a he. Because in Scenti Bubbler, um, Marinette's like, what is he doing here? Or something. So, that. Um, what is this? Wait! Oh my god! Guys, these are the new pop sockets! What? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop, this is amazing! This is their new pop sockets. Oh my gosh. I was gonna get one of these. Wow! Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Um, okay, now the last things, oh, what is this? Oh, we got a bookmark. This is so cute. I'm gonna use this for my journal. We got Ladybug and we have Cat Noir. So they put a lot of their new items like in these boxes. They tend to put things that they haven't put yet on the Zag store that like, they just put up on the Zag store. But this, okay. Then the last thing we got, this is the last item, is Marinette's with the Goat Miraculous. Look how cute this is. I'm going to take it out of the bag right now. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is so cute. I'm honestly, I'm surprised that they put this in the Zag store because, you know, it's Marinette like with it. So it's like the rose gold. Oh my goodness wait oh it's so cute this is so cute how do we put our head do we just go like this oh my gosh that's so cute i know this is probably not even where you should put the bow i don't even know where she put it but look how cute this is oh my gosh so it looks like this because it's based off of when marinette had it in um kwame buster and it came in this beautiful box with, you know, Zag. Oh my God, this is so cute. What is this? This is um the Goat Miraculous, but when Marinette has it. What is my favorite season? So I don't count season, we're just gonna wear this, okay? We're just gonna keep it on. But I don't count season four because we haven't seen the whole season. I love it, it's super intense. Um, but from season one to three, definitely season three. I rewatch season three constantly. Um, but this was this month's Zag box. This was the medium one. And this is my first ever um, Zag box, which is so exciting. And this is, they had some great stuff in this box. Oh, I saw someone say, no, I missed everything. Don't worry, because I saved the live, so you can always watch it like again. Um, but let's do a little recap of everything that we got in this box. 
We got the Goat Miraculous in Marinette's um, style. We've got Tricks from the Mystery Kwame box. This was so fun. We got Tricks. Then we got their new um, Pop Sockets. They have a lot of different kinds, but I'm really happy they gave me the Ladybug one because I love it. Um, we got a bookmark. We got a little fridge magnet. Or you can just put it anywhere. It's a magnet. And we got a mouse pad, which is a ladybug. So that's so fun. I'm so excited for like their next boxes because they are so, they are upping their merch. Like they just shared on their story that they're going to be having like new phone cases. And I saw Bunnix on it. I was like, oh, oh my God. Um, but anyways, now let's talk about Miraculous. I feel like this actually is starting to look a little weird, but should I keep it on? I'll just keep it on. You know, I'll take it off when I want, but, <laughs> and also I'm debating if I'm going to put this on my phone, but it's so cute. Um, but overall, I'm actually really happy with this box. I know that a lot of people were a little disappointed with the box, which I don't like blame them compared to past boxes that I've seen people do and like unbox, but this was so fun unboxing this and it's so amazing when you don't actually peek and see what's inside and are like just completely in shock because I had no clue what to expect. But let's start answering some questions. So who's your favorite character? Ladybug. Marinette, are they, can I count them as the same one? Marinette or Ladybug. Um, also, I posted um, my Gabriel Agrest episode theory video like late last night. I posted like 10.30 p.m. where I am. I was editing that thing all day yesterday. Um, also, my stomach keeps growling. Why does this always happen? I need some water. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I posted that yesterday. I am so excited. It is coming so soon. Like, not so soon, but the episode's coming. It's going to be ready in around a month. And why wouldn't they share? Like, if I was one of the TV networks or, like, channels, like, if I was, like, Gloob or TFOU and I got the episode and, like, I could share it now, why wouldn't one of them want to be the first ones? Like, it's so anticipated. So... I think that as soon as they get their hands on it, they're going to be like, trailers, uh, spoilers, this. Um, obviously, I really hope that they don't spoil it like crazy. Like, there's no need. There's no need to share, like, spoilers the day that the episode comes. But anyways. Um, I am living in Turkey. How can I order the boxes? So you can go to just search in Google um zag miraculous store and then once you go to their website you're gonna see um like the subscription box like you can purchase it there um i don't know if they ship to turkey i would assume they do but i know that they don't ship everywhere i don't think but i think they would ship to turkey um so you can uh order it there and yeah it's like um a subscription box so you get one every month you can cancel your subscription whenever you want yeah, and guys, this is so cute. Now I have another Miraculous. And I wasn't actually, I wasn't wearing my Cat Noir ring. Cat Noir ring. This is also from the Zag store. I got this in a um, past box that I had gotten. Uh, but look how cute. The earrings, we are, we're just glammed up with this Miraculous stuff. Um, someone asked, why do you like Lady Noir the most? <clears throat> well, I love Lady Noir because, I don't know, it's just, I really enjoy how confident, like, Adrian becomes when he's Cat Noir. Not that he's not confident when he's Adrian, but I think it's just so fun because they don't know that, like, all along they've been with one another. Um, so that's why I love it. I don't know. I can't really explain why it's, like, my favorite other than I just like love seeing them like on the screen together. But what if Marinette gets akumatized and Alia has to use her miraculous? Um, so yeah, that is like a super popular theory and I've seen a lot of people confirming it. And while it's possible, like it's 
it's pretty possible to happen. Let's not confirm it because we can't, right? Everything is just theories right now. Um, so, but honestly, if that were to happen, I don't know how I would feel because I just, I just can't imagine Alia actually having her miraculous in an episode. I feel like it would be so weird. Like it would be really exciting and different, but I don't know how I would feel. Like, how would you guys feel? Would you want, if Marinette's, when Marinette gets akumatized, she's going to get akumatized one day. Wait, you know what I should be asking? Do you think Marinette's going to get akumatized this season? Because a lot of people think that the 100th episode, she's going to get akumatized. But I don't think that at all. Like, I, it's possible. It's very possible. For them to say, this episode is necessary to watch. Um, like, I just, when I think of Marinette getting akumatized, I think of it... I said this in my previous live, but like she needs like a finale dedicated to her. Like that is how crazy it would be. Um, I don't even know. But look at Cat Blanc. He just had an episode. So, but I just, I feel like if she got akumatized this season, it would be like so crazy because there's just so much happening. Um, but... At the same time, I could see it happening this season. So, I don't know how it would feel. I want to see her get akumatized. I do. I've been wanting to see her get akumatized since I started watching Miraculous because it's something so many of us are like, eee! because it would be so scary, of course, like it would be terrifying. But at the same time, do you know how good the episode would be? Like, oh my gosh, it would be so good. Um, what's my favorite Miraculous? I really love Ladybug's earrings. Um, I love Tiny Wars Ring too. But I also love Bunnix's Miraculous. And Bunnix's Miraculous in camouflage mode. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, um, Jiren the Grey, or Jiren the Grey, thank you so much for the super chat. Imagine both Marinette and, oh god, both Marinette and Adrian Akumatize. Oh my god, that would be insane. Like, I don't know how anyone would help them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it would be so intense. Um, saying my love Bunnix, yes, I am so excited. Like, it's not even... Oh, I really want to see her this season. It's like, no, she needs to come sometime this season to visit because there's just so much happening. Like, she's got to come. She's going to come. Um, only Bunnix could save them. Yeah, if Marinette and Adrian were both akumatized. But I feel like that would only happen if something like Scarlet Moth kind of happened again. You know, where he like akumatized multiple people. Um... But at the same time, I'm wondering, okay, so we know the finale is Shadow Moth's last attack. So what I've been thinking all along, this is just my theory going into the finale, is that he's going to be passing the Miraculous, the Peacock Miraculous, onto somebody else. Like not permanently, I don't think it would be permanently, but I think it could be someone like Lila or someone like Felix but I feel more like Lila is a definite yes um, and I explained this a lot in like previous videos I've made like the one I just posted uh, last night it's so possible I I don't know um did you get my letter it's white and has three logos on the back yes I did I did I'll show it to you um thank you so much again Jar in the Gray um, I had this random theory that maybe Ladybug and Cat Noir have different voices when they are transformed, but they haven't revealed it yet. Do you think, like, because they don't know each other's identities, is that why you think like that? Because we know that um, the quantum masking is why they can't tell one another, like, from their civilian and then their hero form. I, it's funny. Like in Scenty Bubbler, Marinette, because I was rewatching the episode and, you know, Marinette's like, Cat Noir, 
Ken Noir, you need to stay where you are. And then Ken Noir's like, why is everyone telling me I need to stay where I am? And um, then Marinette goes on to explain, she's like, Alia created an illusion of Ladybug and he's a senti monster and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, how do you know this? Like, I would have been, I would have like froze if someone asked me that. But then she's like, oh, I have a front row seat. But let me show um, the letter. Let me get this really quickly. But guys, again, to anyone who might have like just joined or came like not too long ago, there's a huge chance we're getting spoilers today. Gloob, they upped, they, let me breathe, Maya. They updated their Miraculous Season 4 playlist last night, just as I was about to go to sleep. I'm like, you know what? Let me check this one more time. They added another video that's private so there's a huge chance we're gonna get some spoilers today a spoiler today so just letting you know if you do not want to see it because i know a lot of people are like no i don't want spoilers or they're like yes i want spoilers um i will be posting it so just you know after the live maybe stay away from my channel for a little um but i do just want to say i just want to show somebody asked about their letter and i i have it let me show it <gasps> Is this it? I think this is it. I think this is the letter that somebody said. Wait, somebody said, I see my letter. It's red. It says my on the back. Um, my on the back. Wait. This is the red letter that I have. I need to cover this though. I don't want to share anything in any information. This is the red letter that I have. Um, but what was it saying? Um, about the spoilers, just like a reminder, even if you heard me earlier saying this, the thing is, it's not like we're never gonna get spoilers again. We're gonna get spoilers again from not just Gloob, but also TFOU and like all the other channels because now Miraculous Season 4 is coming to so many places around the world. I saw the other day, Poland, they're getting Miraculous Season 4. I don't know if anyone here is from Poland. Um, lots of places constantly so with that being said like we're gonna get spoilers again so um the thing is i just don't like the spoilers that they share the day of the episode like it's coming out that day but they're giving us spoilers so this spoiler whatever we're getting today it's most likely going to be for a new episode of course um and i'm thinking it's going to be for dearest family just because the animation's already done for the episode so all they have to do is the dubbing, which they've probably done. Um, so with that being said, with that being said, uh, I saw a lot of people saying I say with that being said quite a bit. So let's change that. So if that's going to happen, it's going to be for a new episode. And it's probably going to be a trailer considering it's under their Miraculous Season 4 playlist. Oh my goodness. Thank you again. Um, Jaren the Grey. One day for sure, they just... A miraculous Avengers type of scene with everyone using the miraculous. Mm hmm. Yes. Because this is my question. Why? So, if you don't know to anyone that's here, we have seen this season Pigella, Purple Tigress, Polymouse, um, Vesperia. Okay, that's already four new holders. And three of them having completely new Kwamis being used that we've never seen before. And so we've still yet to see Oriko get a, a holder, Ziggy, Stomp, and who's the other one? Bark. It has been confirmed that they are going to be used this season by Miraculous Mexico back in March. So my question is, why are we seeing so many people get Miraculouses at once this season? That's like... That's nine people? That's And what if Alex gets her Miraculous? That's gonna be 10. Why? Why are they making them all come at once? There's a reason for why so many were just shoved into the season for them to get it. So there's, you know, if that happens, the only thing that I can think of is that one day everyone's gonna need to use their miraculouses to save ladybug to save marinettes 
Because if she gets akumatized, okay, if she gets akumatized, she is going to be so powerful and I feel like everyone's gonna be needed. Thank you again, um, Jiren the Grey. I really hope I'm saying that right, Jiren the Grey. Um, because it'll be hard to defeat Lila and Hawk Moth. That's another thing. It could totally be because Lila with like being the new holder, there's just so much power from her. And same with Gabriel, no, continuing to be Hawk Moth. But look at the last finales. Like we saw all the holders being used. So if that happens again, do you know how cool that's gonna look? Like I just imagine their like stance, like before they all fight, all just lined up. It's gonna look so cool. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be so exciting. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to the PO box today um, to pick up more letters because I I still need to respond to these. I've just been holding them off because I've been doing other things. But let me just put this away. But yeah, um, what do you think the declaring of Ladybug to Cat Noir will happen? Oh, when do you think? Do you mean her, like, telling him her identity? Because that, I don't know. Because here's the thing. Um, what I have in mind is that my, my letter is the yellowish one. Oh, that's the, that's the big letter. Yes. Um, but what I was going to say is I don't think, okay, let me just explain kind of how I'm imagining stuff to happen is that Kanuar is going to realize that possibly other people know Ladybug's identity. The thing is, if that happens, I feel like, I don't know if he would do this, but <clears throat> I kind of imagine as if he would like want the answers, like forcefully, like start wanting them, um, which wouldn't be good, obviously. But whatever happens moving forward, um, besides the miraculous being taken, because it has been confirmed that Gabriel, Hawk Moth, will get his hands, or Shadow Moth, will get his hands on the miraculous this season. So, if and when that ha when that happens, it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna be temporarily. Like it's it can't be permanent, and that's why I think Bunnix is gonna come, because it can't permanently stay like that. Um, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be, like, guys, the thing is, when I film voiceovers, like, when we get new spoilers and stuff, I am freaking out. I have to, like, retake the voiceover multiple times because I will be filming it, and then all of a sudden I'll just, like, squeal or something because I'm so excited. Um, did I miss something? Oh my gosh, Jar in the Grey again! Thank you! Um, will there be a movie coming? Yes, there will be. So, The Awakening movie is set to air between the end of this year, year, what was that voice thing? The end of this year or early next year. And there is a novel for the movie which you can purchase from Amazon. It's currently, like, it's for pre-order and I've pre-ordered it, which is funny because I really don't read, but when it comes to Miraculous, I will read. Um, so, that book, when it was first aired, I'm going to take this out now because it's a little irritating, but it's so cute. Yeah. So when that book was first put, <gasps> I'm going to answer this question. Uh, but anyways, uh, when that book was first put onto Amazon, it said that it would be like ready to go November 2nd, 2021, which means that if the novel was going to come out around November, the movie would most likely be coming around that time. But since then, the book has been moved back to being fully released March 8th, 2022, which makes me believe that the movie will be coming out sometime next year. However, we got some info that the Awakening movie is going to be an hour and a half long. An hour and a half? Dang! It's going to be an hour and a half long. And, uh... It's still kind of estimated to be coming out the end of this year, which would be amazing. Could you imagine like the holidays? It would be so fun. Um, but yeah, so that's currently what we have for the Awakening movie. 
But then there's also a live action movie set to be coming. So um, the live action movie, we don't really have much info on that, but not too long ago, I guess like around a month or two ago, Jeremy shared a picture on his Instagram and it was something having to do like looking for like sets, like for the movie. So we have two movies coming. Plus we have series coming that focus their spin-off series for characters that we see in the specials, like dang. Um, so the question, um, someone said, do you play Minecraft? I love Minecraft. I grew up playing Minecraft like all the time. I love playing Bed Wars, it's so fun. Um, but let's get back to more miraculous questions. I just, you know, I love Minecraft, it's fun. Um, Maya, what do you think uh, about the Gabriel Gress episode? I just posted a video on that yesterday, so I'd suggest watching that because I have all of my thoughts in that video. And it's, I'm so excited for it though. Um, I feel like Lila will be getting the Peacock Miraculous, but for a temporary period of time, maybe for a season and a half. And since there's an awesome manipulator, the Senti Monsters will be 10 times more powerful. Honestly, that is so true. Like as much as we don't like Lila. Well, I'll be honest with you. I actually love Lila, but in the sense of being the antagonist. She's an amazing antagonist. Like, I don't think anyone can deny that. And the thing is, she brings so much spice to the episodes. Like, that's what I love. That's what I love about, um, like, the evil characters is because they make the episodes super spicy and exciting. And, like, I just, I love it. I'm really excited. Um, can you show the box again? Yeah, sure. I'll go through um, what items we got again while I answer questions. I'm going to flip the lighting so it's a little better now. But um, I unboxed the August Zag box. So I'm going to just go through a run through of what I got in mine. Um, I sent you fan mail, white card, purple sticker on the corner. I didn't get it yet, but I'm going to go to the PO box or my dad's going to go. Um, so it might be there already or it's definitely on its way. Do the Miraculous change the shape of the jewelry or type? For their holders yes and that's going to bring us to our first item that we got in the box so let me just tilt this so one of the things that i got in my august zag box was this miraculous and it's like wait what miraculous is that this is the goat miraculous but it's in marinette's camouflage mode or is this when she wears it i don't think it is but this is what it looks like when Marinette has it. When she doesn't has it, have it, it looks like something else and I can't remember even what it looks like. But even in the episode Reflect All, when Marinette uses Cat Noir's ring, it turns rose gold, I'm pretty sure, in her camouflage mode. So they do change and I was just wearing it like on the side of my uh, hair here, which is so cute. But it's really nice quality. The clip on the back, see like that. So cute, and it's like, it's tiny. It's not like too big or heavy, so it's really nice. Uh, next, we got this magnet of Tiki with a cookie. We got a bookmark of Cat Noir and Ladybug, a Ladybug pop socket. I'm really debating if I'm gonna put this on my phone or not. This is the box which the Go Miraculous came in. We got a mystery box for the Kwame. Uh, came with tricks and lastly we got a brand new mouse pad and it's a ladybug funny I was gonna actually get this mouse pad luckily I didn't I got another one um, but super awesome okay um, do I play Roblox I do have a Roblox account um, and sometimes like I think it was last week I actually went on the miraculous game for fun and there were so many of you guys on. Everyone was like, Maya, Maya. I'm like, hi. Um, so I'm not good at playing Roblox. Like, I don't. Like, I don't even like, I know how to play, kind of. But I'm not good at all. I just like running around and <laughs> and just um, visiting like the Miraculous game and stuff. Um, how long does it take you to edit a video? So yesterday, um, they take me a long time. I will say that. So yesterday I was editing the video I posted last night. I woke up at 5 a.m. and I didn't stop editing until 9.30 p.m. Uh, how long is that? It's a long time. So 
they definitely take me a long time and um, that's why like I can't upload every day because then I just would not be able to live a life outside of always like being in my room editing and stuff <clears throat> so that's that but I love it that's the process of making videos and theories and stuff but yeah um what's my user I think you're asking for Roblox it is the my v show yes it is. Um, hey Maya, what is your favorite scene? Okay, so I really love from Horrificator when Cat Noir is walking like this. And I also love Ikari goes in when Marinette, like that scene where she's like fishing and then she's like, what? Like this weird face that she does. And it's so cute. There's like one part when she goes like, like this, I don't know. She has like her hand out, it looks so cute. I love that. <clears throat> Um, do you like Felix? Honestly, I don't, I don't hate him at all. I really do not hate any character. Um, there's characters I like better than other ones, obviously, but for Felix, I just don't understand him. Like, I can't tell when the kid is being sincere. So, I do like him. I want to, I want to learn more about him, but I am very confused, um, like, I can't understand his personality. I just know he's very mischievous and <laughs> and smarter than Gabriel, but I don't actually understand how, how he, like, I don't understand. I don't. <laughs> like, when he, at the end, when Adrian was like, what she did was unforgivable, and, you know, and then he's like, I'm sorry, I hope I can come back, like, as a better person. I don't know if he was being sincere. And then we see him on the train, right? His mom's like, you can keep the ring. And then he's like, and then he looks at the window to his left or whatever. And he's like, mm, like this, this little smirk. I'm just like, what is going on? Um, will Gabriel aggressed episode release before Deer's family or the other way around? So I definitely think it's going to be coming after because as we saw, the Dearest Family, the animation for the episode appears to be done because TFOU gave us a little sneak peek of it. But the Gabriel Agrest episode, Winnie, he said that it will be ready in around a month. So it doesn't mean it's going to air in one month, but it's going to be ready. So I assume like the animation will be done, possibly the dubbing as well. I think the dubbing could be done. Um, but yeah. What's my least favorite hero? Um, Aspic. Yeah, that's my least favorite. <laughs> um, what's the questions? Uh, what's your thoughts on Pleaky? Pleaky is so cute. I love Pleaky. Um, but we know that Kwamis can't fall in love, which is so sad. But I don't know. I don't know, we see, we see Plague kind of like flirt with Tiki. Or maybe that's just Plague's personality, but I love Pleaky, it's so cute. Do you think Felix will get a Miraculous in the future? Yes. But at the same time, I'm like, no, because we all know that Felix and Lila together, oh my gosh, they would be like the ultimate top tier villains they would be incredible because both of them okay let's be honest so with gabriel and natalie natalie is the one with the brains um okay so for felix and lila they're both pretty smart and wise i guess um so they would definitely be even more powerful but the thing is I'm wondering how is it going to work with Lila and Felix having Miraculouses when they haven't obtained their adult powers yet? Because we see in the battles Gabriel and Natalie. When Natalie's Mayura, a senti monster. Actually, no, that doesn't matter. But let's look at Gabriel, for example. When he's Hawk Moth, the person that he's giving and granting the power to, they can have it for as long as possible obviously until they get deakumatized 
But if that were the case for Lila using the Miraculous or Felix, right, they only have like five minutes. So I don't even know if it would work. And that's why I'm thinking that one of the future seasons might lead to a time skip, which would be so crazy. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Adrianette or Lucanette? I love them both so much. Obviously, Adrianette is endgame, but Lucanette has had some really cute um, moments this season, especially. So I searched on Google, what is the power of the Tiger Miraculous? And it said the power of, yeah, so someone told me in my comments the other day what it was again, and I like, I can't even remember. Let me go to Thomas's, Thomas's Twitter. We're going to go there. He shared it there. So does that have the power of collision? No, 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 no. I think it has something to do with that, but I'm going to try and find it. Um, when Shadow Moth makes the wish, will the Miraculous disappear or will they stay the same? So the thing is, I would assume they're going to stay there. Like, obviously something's going to happen. But how would um, Master Fu be able to explain what would happen when the Miraculouses are, when Plague and Tiki are unified, if it's never happened before? So the only thing that we know is that the universe, like the balance of the universe has to stay the, stay the same after the wish is made. So something's gonna happen, whether it's someone leaving like existence or being traded. Um, I don't know. It's, I thinking about that, I'm like, oh, um, but let me find this tweet real fast. Just gonna go to Thomas's Twitter. Oh. Yeah. Do a dog reveal. My dog's in the backyard. She's not even inside. Um, but if you go into my previous lives, you'll see. Her name is Bella. Bella Bones. Um, okay. I just accidentally um, clicked a notification. Oh, gosh. Okay. The chat's moving. The chat's moving. We're fine. We are continuing. Um... Somebody asked, how do you feel about Glue posting spoilers? So this is going to be like the third time I'm like talking about this. So I hope um, you guys are... Oh my god! What is my dad doing? That freaking scared me. Do you get... That's my dog! That's my dog! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! That scared the... That scared me so bad. That was my dog. That was my dad holding my dog to the window. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh my God. Oh, about the spoilers. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I like the spoilers. I don't care. Like, um, <laughs> no, I'm laughing because of that. But the thing is, I don't like when Gloob shares like the first like minute of like the episode like you know how they've been doing it like they did for Crocodile, but they share the first minute of the episode like the day the episode's coming out or like wishmaker they share like really big parts of the moment or like a trailer just before the episode's coming out that's what i don't like that just completely ruins the excitement and i mean obviously we're gonna have to see it happen eventually in the episode but I'd much rather see the episode and that scene, like my first time seeing the scene happen in the episode, rather than it just being completely spoiled. But I really do like when they do little trailers leading up to it. So we have an idea of what to expect so we can make theories. And um, so those I don't mind. And same with the miraculous alerts. Those are just like the spoiler image because there's not too much you can take out of them. Um, and again, just for theorizing and keeping like the hype and excitement because yeah, of course, like when there's no new episodes and even if there's no new spoilers, like it's just a matter of, okay, let's talk about theories and stuff, which I love doing, but it's a lot more exciting and fun to make theories for new things that continue to come. So that's how I feel about them. And uh, I just hope that they really try and listen to 
like us in the sense like don't spoil any huge things coming like we don't want those things spoiled right you want to see them happen in an episode um what if Marinette will tell um, Adrian about her feelings for him and he will reject her and she'll be akumatized in episode 22? Oh gosh, that would be crazy. But the thing is, I continue to think to the season finale, the season four finale synopsis that we got. And in it, it mentions about Marinette saying, will she risk, risk it all for the sake of love or something like that. So to me, that sounds like, okay, she has not revealed her identity. It's not been at risk. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the finale. The fact the finale says, will Adrian stand up to his father? Is that not confirmation that he will stand up to his father? Like, it's about time. And I need to see that. I need to see that. Oh my god, I need to see that. Um, It would be crazy but Lady Noir Adrianette honestly Lady Noir is always first but Adrianette has been growing on me this season because this season has just been Adrianette like it's been a huge season for it um and I'm taking 10 years to find this tweet from Thomas is it I think it's here it's coming soon um when will the English dub for Crocodile come we have no information on that yet, so I honestly have no clue, um, which is kind of surprising. I feel like normally, like, Disney USA has, like, the dubs for English coming not too long after the ones in Portuguese come. But, yeah, so we currently don't have any info on that. Um... Where and how can we send you letters? Maybe I can send you. So I have a PO box. It's like you're sending it to an address. And my PO box address is in the description of this video. So if you open up the description and just scroll a little, it will say something like, want to send me a letter or something? And it says my PO box information. I'd suggest asking your parents if you're unsure. And it's very easy. It's just a matter of you like writing a letter and then on the back where you write where the letter is going to, you'll put in my PO box information. How tall am I? So the last time I measured myself was months ago and I have grown quite a bit. And so the last time I measured myself, I was 5'6". But I would say, like I don't think I'm 5'6 anymore because I have grown. So... Five, seven, I think. Yeah. Do you think Marinette will reveal her identity in episode 21? So yes, I did make a theory video on this. And there's just a really huge chance that she's going to reveal her identity to her parents. Um, but for some reason, I feel like Sabine could find out. Like, dang, that would be so cool. I am waiting for the day that Sabine does find out. Like, her daughter is Ladybug. Um, but yeah. If you were a miraculous character, what would you like? So if I could be anyone, um, I definitely would want to be Marinette. Like, that'd be so fun. I don't know. She's just like, she has such a crazy life, but such a fun life. Like, it would be so fun to be like Marinette slash Ladybug. I think that'd be so fun. Um, but Bunnix would also be so cool because like you're in charge of like keeping everything in order. And I feel like that's something I could do. So yeah, those are like the two characters. Um, I think because we're not seeing Lila recently, it's because she's planning something big. Yes. Um, and her plan, or she will do her plan in the Gabriel Aggress episode or the finale. Definitely the finale. Um, may, she might have multiple plans going. But the thing is, isn't it weird how the last time Lila was involved in working with Gabriel... Um, member in the episode, Oni-chan, Oni-chan, yeah, she goes to say, um, will you keep my, will you keep your promise if I succeed? But what was it, what was it that they needed to succeed on? Wait, no, that wasn't in the Oni-chan episode, that was in the episode Ladybug. Okay, but this, this leads to my point. My point is that, so, 
what Lila needed to do was get Marinette akumatized. So they realized that Marinette is so powerful in the sense that if she gets akumatized, it's like end game. Obviously it's not, but they are keeping an eye on her. And the fact that they're going to be targeting her parents this episode coming, uh, the 21st episode, like they are really going to begin keeping an eye on her. And that Lila's going to be the new face of the Aggressed brand in the finale. This is all just targeting against Marinette, whether it's planned to, which I think it is or not. So, hi, Ma uh, please answer. I'm from Serbia. Funny you say that. I'm Serbian. Um, I can't send you a letter, so do you have an email? So, the thing is, my email is used for business stuff, um, like business inquiries. So, I do have an Instagram, and it is... Um, my loves MLB. If you search the My B Show, it'll pop up as well. So my email's only for business, but also like, and you can always like comment stuff too because I do answer my comments. Um, but of course, sometimes, um, like, there's just so many comments that go by that I just can't answer them all. But I always try to get to as many comments as I can. Show your miraculous ladybug action figures. So. Um, I'm not going to move my phone for the sake of when I do, like for some reason just the live becomes very laggy and I don't know if it's because I'm moving around my room and the Wi-Fi is over there. But on the shelf you'll see I have a bunch and the ones that I have here with me is Ladybug and Marinette. But I got the Playmate dolls, I got the action figures here and I have some here too. I have, um, I have Lady Dragon run run see i got her in the culture fly box she's gonna be having her own series dang excited very 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 excited um when do i think the reveal is gonna happen great question honestly oh gosh so i'm thinking if it doesn't happen this season, because there is a huge chance it can happen this season. There really is. Um, but if it doesn't happen this season, I definitely think it's going to happen next season. I would honestly prefer for it to not happen this season for the sake of... There's just been so much that's happened this season. But the thing is, there's going to be so much that happens next season, too. Oh, gosh. Um, honestly, I, I, I don't know. That's honestly my response. I really don't know how or when or what I'm thinking for the reveal because it's so, it's so important. And it's crazy how this is, like, something so many fans are waiting for. Because to be honest... I don't even think about the reveal like I do but from what we see this season Marinette revealing to Cat Noir is tough because it's tough because she's kind of from what I understand and what I'm thinking moving forward is that she, Adrian's gonna find out the hard way not that Marinette's ladybug but that he wasn't the one that she trusted like the most and that he's gonna be like the last person to find out because no like it's not like everyone's gonna find out a couple of people but out of like the most trusted people he's probably gonna be one of the last ones um how does that feel cat noir oh i just dropped it how does that make you feel that marinette won't tell you how do you feel about that? You're mad because you have your arms crossed? Why are you giving the camera the side, a side glare? Don't be mad at them. Be mad at Ladybug. I'm sorry, Cat Noir. Um, <laughs> so, uh, do you think Felix x Lila will happen? It is so possible. Again, super possible. But I don't know. I can't really see Felix with anyone. But I need, okay, I think I said this in my last live, but 
I need to see Lila and Felix meet. And I had said, like, these are just random bursts of thoughts that I get when I think about, like, the finale. Because if we look at the last finale, um, uh, Oh my god, wait, I see someone message my from the day I found your channel, my life changed and I love MOV even more. I love you so much. Thank you so much, Dolphin Star. Um, I'm so glad. Like, I know that's the thing with like uh making videos on YouTube is like I don't even realize that like I become something that like people look forward to, like the videos and stuff. And it's just crazy because I think about like when I constantly used to watch YouTube, I really don't watch YouTube anymore, I think because I'm always making videos, but I just think about like how excited I get to watch people's videos. So that feels really special, so thank you. But what I was gonna say is, if we look at the last finale, how it ended was Gabriel picking up the Peacock Miraculous, this is not the Peacock Miraculous, but we're gonna imitate the scene, and he goes, perfect. And then it went black, just black screen. Um, so what I, I've had some weird thoughts, not weird, just kind of crazy, but one of them is like Lila and Felix shaking hands, like, Doo. and then it goes black screen, or, um, even weirder and crazier is Emily's eyes just opening and then it goes, hmm. I don't know, there's so many, there's so many. I feel like it's definitely gonna have to do with something with Lila, like the very last scene of the finale. Something with Lila or Felix moving forward into season five. Oh my God. Or Emily. Th that's what I'm thinking. But dang. Um, how would I like Lila and Felix to meet? That's a great question. And I honestly don't know. Like, for some reason, I feel like Gabriel would possibly arrange Felix to come, even though Gabriel hates Felix. So that's the thing. He really, he doesn't like him. But I've said this before. He cannot deny that Felix is smart and, like, wise. So maybe one day he'd have them, like, both standing in his house and just talking to him, like, about this plan or something. I don't know, it would definitely be like something he arranges in my eyes. That's how I feel like it could happen. Um, do you think Adrian's gonna find out that Marinette was the one to give him the scarf? Um, I, I don't know, cause to be honest, I've kind of forgotten about the whole scarf thing. And it's definitely not that it would be like too late to bring it up, but I don't know, I just don't think about that, like, it is, it is so possible though. Like, at the end of Mr. Pigeon 72, all the pictures that had Adrian in it was him wearing the scarf Marinette gave him. Like, why would they use specifically all those pictures? So, there's a great chance. It's 50-50, we don't know. But honestly, there's a great chance. Um... I thought Sabine's voice actor just recently passed away. You're correct. But um, the thing is, with any character and stuff, you have to replace them. And Sabine does have a new voice actor. And her name is Anne. Um, so I don't know if the Dearest Family episode... I don't think it was. I was going to say, maybe it was already dubbed. But <clears throat> so Sabine will have a new voice actor. So I'm very curious to see how our Sabina is going to sound. I think that she's going to be a great fit um, from how I've heard her voice other characters. But yeah, but that did happen. Um, please answer this question. Is Plag the one to know Gabriel's identity? Um, watch my latest video to hear who I think it's going to be. But I can just say no. Not Plag. Um... Um, what would you do in Luca's shoes? Oh, dang. Well, I'm very good at keeping things to myself, and I'm very good at keeping secrets. Um, so I would have done the same thing Luca did, and it was that 
I would have just kept the secret to relieve the stress off of well, at the same time, I'm also a very honest person and it's hard for me to lie. So, I was in Luca's position. The thing is, Luca is doing what he believes is best. Like, he's just being very naive and nice. And it's because he cares. He knows that she has a lot of pressure and Marinette having to worry, oh my gosh, there's one more person that knows about me, is really scary. And it's not frustrating, but it's just a lot of pressure. But the thing is, Luca knows both of their identities. And I don't know how he would come to her to say, like, I found out your identity and Cat Noir's identity. Like, how would that happen? I don't know. I don't know. That is something, like, I've completely not for God, I've just put to the side that how is Luca going to be in these upcoming episodes? Because just when we saw, oh my God, I'm getting chills talking about this because it's so, it's so exciting, but also so nerve wracking. Um, when he goes at the end of Wishmaker, when everything is like back to normal, he goes to run to Marinette in the washroom. And when he sees her, he's just like, uh, hi, like, you know, like he's shocked. So I don't know. It's so weird. But like, can you believe he knows Adrian is Cat Noir and Marinette's Ladybug? Like, um, when a Kwame uses their power without their owner, it has something to do with the Iceful Tower. Um, so I think it's just, we've just been seeing it have to do with the Iceful Tower lately. Um, I think it's just a coincidence. Like, I don't think every time a Kwame uses their power on their own, it just affects the Iceful Tower. But, for example, we're going to see Tiki use her power and that giant lucky charm in space. Cat Noir has to cataclysm it, but it is so giant that it has to be pushed all the way into space. And it's going to make such a giant explosion that it has to be cataclysmed in space to protect Earth, which is crazy. So, no, I don't think it always has to do with the Iceful Tower. It's just that lately it has been affecting the Iceful Tower. Um, Lukagami or Lukloe? I would say Lukagami, uh, but I think all the ships are really cute, except except some weird ones that people say. <laughs> Gabriel Myrna. No. No. No, we do not talk about that. But that's what I mean when I say weird ships, okay? I respect the ships, but not that one. That one is just so weird. Um, anyways. Um, what do you watch Miraculous Season 4 on? I watch Miraculous Season 4 on YouTube. So the thing is... Um, Episodes aren't supposed to be on YouTube. Like, you know, it's not good to share them or anything. So, but they are. There's a lot of them on YouTube. So, I watch them on YouTube because it's safe for me. Like, it's it's right there. It's safe. Um, but there are, like, uh, popular sites, too, that have the episodes. I just don't like watching them on there because there's a lot of ads. And I just think it's too tricky, whereas... It's just on YouTube, can watch it there. But Miraculous Season 4 is coming to Disney Plus in the US uh, this September, <clears throat> I think it's September 15th. So if you're in the US, you got Disney Plus, it's coming. But I don't know if that has to do with Disney Plus anywhere else around the world, which is sad because I'm over here in Canada and I'm like, please, Bring it here too. Um, but yeah. What will be your reaction when Cat Noir perishes? It's a rumor. It's a rumor. So uh, I talk about this in every live because there is just so many people that believe this. And while I don't blame people, at the same time, I'm like, it's a rumor. So let's talk about this real quick. If you go into Google and search, will Cat Noir die? It says yes. He will perish at the end of season four. Something to do with Ladybug having to get the miraculous to save him, whatever. 
And then it shows where the information comes from. And it comes from a tweet that Thomas had tweeted. But Thomas was just joking. For one, Thomas would never, ever spoil something like that. Thank you so much, Midnight Owl, for the super chat. Um, have you watched Miraculous Ladybug in 99 seconds? No. That is impossible. Actually, if you do like them, all the episodes and like time lapses and stuff. But no. Um, but going back, where was I on? Oh, yeah. Thomas would never spoil something like that. He does not like spoilers. Uh, and while Ezra can't confirm things, he has talked about it on his story. Like, why would we do that to one of the main characters? You know what I'm saying? But another thing is like, I've had some thoughts. For one, about perishing. I mean, we literally saw Cat Noir temporarily perish in the Shanghai special, but it makes me think about what if the Adrian Senti monster theory? What if in once Gabriel gets his hands on the miraculous, the wish, does he make the wish? These are things that I'm wondering. Uh, what do you think is the bad side if Shadow Moth um, ever unifies Plague and Tiki and brings Emily back to life. And what do you think Adrian's reaction will be when his mom's alive again? The thing is, I think Adrian will disappear if they make the wish. If he makes the wish. Because for someone to make the wish, the universe has to stay in balance. And so that would mean, for example, if Gabriel wishes to bring Emily back, someone's going to have to go. Who do I think that someone's going to be? I think it's going to be Adrian. And yeah. Some people think it might be Natalie. And honestly, I'm choosing between Adrian or Natalie. Um, how do you pronounce my name? It's pronounced Maya. So my, uh, Maya. Yeah. Um, when do you think the Gabriel episode will come? So I'm thinking that if it doesn't come next month, which it probably won't, I'm thinking that it could be coming out in October and if not, November. The reason being because Winnie, who is a co-director, he said that it will be ready in around a month. Or no, he said in one month it will be ready. Meaning that the, I would assume the animation's done, possibly the dubbing, and so it doesn't mean that in exactly a month it's going to start airing and we can watch it, but that it's just going to be ready. So I think that we can be expecting it this year at least. Um, when's the next episode? We have, we have no clue, but we might get information today as to when the new episode is going to be airing. Because if we get a new spoiler today, it's probably going to be leading to a new episode, which I assume Gloob... Like, if we get a spoiler today, I'm assuming we're going to get a new episode next week. But, let's see. <clears throat> um, what do you think Tiki will mess up with her powers in Deer's family? Well, she's going to make a giant lucky charm. I actually want to talk about this. I need some more water first. Okay. So, what I'm thinking is... We've never seen Tiki act like this. Like, we know she eats cookies, right? No big deal. What's going on with her in this episode, though? So what I'm wondering is the episode is titled Dearest Family. So it doesn't really give away that it's a certain person. Like, we know it's Tom and Sabine akumatized, but what I'm trying to say is that are they going to be akumatized in their former looks so tom will be akumatized as where dad and sabine will be akumatized as verity queen that's something i'm wondering because if we look at crocodile i think a lot of us were expecting them to look like how they did in their crocodile posters but obviously it looked like how we had seen them previously um jagged stone when he was akumatized and then anarka but, so what I'm thinking is, could we see Verity Queen this episode? 
and that's her power. It has something to do with like Tiki getting mesmerized by the power or something like that. And that's what causes her to go out of control because Verity Queen, what is that that has to do with like obeying, does it not? I think of like Princess Justice, like, you know, justice. So that's just something I've been thinking about. Uh, do you think we're going to see Marinette's grandma or grandpa in Dear's family? Some, you know, that's very possible. Uh, I was going to say is something that could be foreshadowing that is because the title is Dearest Family. So it's not just like Dearest Parents, right? Dearest Family. Her family includes um, her uncle, her grandpa, her grandma. So I think it's very possible that they could be there. But at the same time, I feel like maybe they would just visit and then possibly leave before Tom and Sabine get akumatized. Uh, can't just he ask for the miraculous nicely, like make a wish and then give the miraculous and they won't even have to fight? Well, look at in the season three finale, I'm pretty sure. When, or no, maybe it was the season two finale, I think it was. But he's, he was telling Ladybug, like, how do you know the wish I was going to make wouldn't be, I don't know what he said, but something along the lines of, like, wouldn't be good or wouldn't be for, like, the better. So he has brought it up to her, <clears throat> but I think she mentioned how there'd be, like, a huge cost to pay or price to pay. So either way, making the wish is going to have huge consequences and it's not going to be good. Um, I'm having a miraculous themed birthday party next year. That is so fun. I want to have a miraculous themed uh, birthday this year. For my sweet 16, I want it to be miraculous themed. And yeah. I see people saying me too. Is that for like a miraculous themed birthday? I don't know. But that's so fun. Um, can you show your MOB earrings? Yeah. So, um, this is the Ladybug one, and then this is the Cat Noir one, right there. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I see, like, a couple of people saying me too. Do you think Marinette will get akumatized? Um, and what do you think will happen by the end of season four? So, there's a lot that I think is going to happen, and I have multiple videos on this. Um... But for one, I definitely think someone else is going to be using the Peacock Miraculous in the finale. I don't think it's going to be Natalie. It could be. But I really do think someone else is going to have it. And we might have to see all the new heroes this season being used. And there's just Bunnix. Definitely Bunnix. Um, we know that Shadow Moth is going to get his hands on the Miraculous. And those are like some things that we have confirmed. I mean, the things we have confirmed is that Shadow Moth will get his hands on the Miraculous. And the finale name is Shadow Moth's Last Attack. So I definitely do not think Gabriel, like being one of the main villains is over. But that he's going to continue being Hawk Moth again. And then someone's going to get the peacock. Miraculous. How am I doing good? Um, I feel like my voice, it always happens when I go live. Like it starts to get very dry. I don't know. I keep drinking water, but it sounds like raspy. <clears throat> I need to check something quickly. Um, yeah. So we are going to be getting most likely... A new spoiler today and I feel like we haven't gotten one in a hot minute we have gotten one last week but that wasn't even shared by glue was it I don't think it was no last week we got a post from Jeremy about the awakening movie like a teaser image and then we got the little teaser from TFOU so this week we might be getting like today from glue which i'm honestly excited for because when there's new things to be excited for there's so many new theories to come so i'm very excited i really am 
I'm gonna answer a couple more questions and then I'm gonna get to like work on planning some more videos because I've got a whole I got a whole list and I really want to get to replying to a lot of my pen pals um but I am planning sometimes like sometimes I just want to do like really short lives I guess um not really short but I guess just randomly want to go live and doing that for YouTube is kind of hard but on Instagram it's really easy so I like I always go live like my bigger lives and more important lives will always be here but sometimes when I just like randomly want to go live when I'm like editing or if I'm like writing to my pen pals I'll probably do that on Instagram so if you want to follow my Instagram just so like to keep up with that uh, my Instagram is Maya Loves MLB and it's in the description like all my usernames are in the description like for my Twitter the Maya B show for my Instagram you can search the Maya B show it'll come up but it's Maya Loves MLB for Roblox the Maya B show and um even my TikTok the Maya B show YT YouTube it's what it stands for but let's answer a few more things. So my in Adrian Ascenti Monster Theory, you said there are more chances of Adrian being a Senti Monster, right? Then how can't Gabriel know that Cat Noir is Adrian and how can he speak without with his own words? So the holder of the Peacock Miraculous can only sense Senti Monsters. So whenever Gabriel is around Cat Noir or if he's around um, when he's Shadow Moth around him, he can't sense anything. Um, because for one, when Mayora sensed Feast, it was because Feast swallowed its amok. Whereas if Adrian is a senti monster, he would not have swallowed his amok. Um, and that's why a lot of people, including myself, believe the rings are what hold the amok. And if not the ring, it could be the brooch on Emily. But the thing is also, Gabriel does not suspect he is Cat Noir because look in Wishmaker. He looked terrified when he heard that Adrian was Cat Noir. He's like, my son? He looked so scared. Um, it was honestly funny. But I just, that's why he wouldn't know or tell. Um, but yeah, for that question. Um, hi, I'm an Indian at night time. Good night. Good night. Um. I've got an important question. Remember in that one episode, forgot the name, Marinette doubted that Adrian was Cat Noir. So the reveal, what will be Ladybug and Cat Noir's reaction? So I think that was um Frightening Tale. Alia was like, she showed a picture like of her put a mask on Adrian or something. And Marinette's like, what? No way. Um, But I like, oh my God. The first thing that I would imagine is once they reveal, like they just hug I don't know like like you know in the movies when they like just hug I don't know that sounds so stupid the way I said it but I definitely don't think they would be like like you know like walking away from one another like stay back like no but I think they'd be in like complete shock for sure um if you go back to the Kwame Buster episode there were two go miraculouses but Marinette only put on one so in later episodes, is there going to be twin to get both the Miraculouses? So a lot of people think that Mark is going to get the Goat Miraculous, which I can totally see happening. And, uh, hold on. Let me just look at something really quickly. Because I can't remember if she was wearing two or one. Probably one. But, let's see was she wearing okay so i'm looking at the kwame buster end card and yeah i can see marinette wearing the one right there right that's the bow um but i'm trying to see how it it was working give me a second goat miraculous yeah so there is two that's weird I didn't even notice that, but was she wearing both of them? She was wearing both of them, actually. I'm looking at uh, when she was transforming. And as you can see, she has one on this side and she has one right there. So she did actually wear them both. Um, do you think Ollie will get akumatized? 
So I really, that I don't know about. Like I could see her getting akumatized again, but um, what I definitely think is that there's gonna be huge consequences that Alia and Luca don't have magical charms, yet they know her identity, ladybugs. So there's gonna be, there's gonna be consequences. Um, the star brooch is with Chloe too. She gave it to Sabrina. Yes. So I was like, at first I was like, wait, this is so weird. Like this must have a deeper meaning. And while it could, it was confirmed by Thomas that Gabriel sells, um, you know, he sells stuff, but in the episode Valpina, when we see Lila go to the shop and get the Fox Miraculous, apparently Gabriel sells them. Is that not like so weird? Like, so with the pin, I just think it's something that Gabriel sells. And that's why Audrey had it, who probably gave it to Chloe or Andre. And then Chloe gave it to Sabrina. So I don't think it's anything too much with Sabrina having that similar looking thing but it's a little sus it is a little sus uh what is one thing you really want to see in the, the new movie so the thing is I think I don't even think like it's got to be confirmed that there's going to be a reveal in the movie so I'm just really excited to see how it plays out because the movie is said to not be canon to the series so if it's not canon to the series, things are going to happen in there. Like, the movie is Jeremy's movie. So, the movie is going to be based off of the way he, his perspective on how Miraculous is and how it should have gone. And, apparently, I don't remember seeing this, but maybe it, it did happen. But Jeremy doesn't really care for, like, the side characters so we might not see Kagami in the movie and we might not see Luca in the movie. But the characters so far that we've definitely seen is Adrian, Nino, Natalie, um, Marinette, her dad, uh, Alia. We've gotten like the tiniest sneak peek of Chloe. Like we just saw her hair. I am so excited to see what she looks like in the movie. Oh my gosh. I'm very excited. Um, okay, I'm going to answer a few more questions. So let's go. Do you speak French? A uh, very teeny bit. <laughs> um, when will the movie come out? It's estimated to come out the end of this year, early next year. Um, I think Gabriel's ignoring Adrian to make sure the wish will not take him. I definitely agree with that. He's trying to avoid letting the universe know like he is a prized possession. Um, but at the same time, this leads into the Adrian senti monster theory in the sense that it's like Adrian is like the last thing he has of Emily. This is something that Gabriel quoted. I can't remember the exact quote, but something along the lines of that. And he like kind of resents Adrian in the sense that Adrian was the reason Emily's gone, but Emily wanted Adrian to be there. It's confusing, but... Um, uh, do you think Sandboy 2.0 will come in season five or four? So definitely not season four. Four. and the reason being because season four is already written season five is already written too but it's possible it is definitely possible um but if it were to happen i feel like it would be maybe season season six for some reason i think but who knows uh we'll just have to wait and see i mean wishmaker was kind of like wishmaker 2.0 i mean wishmaker was similar to sandboy uh, do you think Marinette will give up her Miraculous? Well, the thing is, if we look in the episode Valpina, she, Ladybug was so close to giving her Miraculous up for the sake of love, for the sake of saving Adrian. That's how much she cares for him. So in the finale, when it goes to say, will she risk it for the sake of love or something for Adrian? I'm like, yeah, maybe. Because in Valpina, she was that close to doing that. Like, dang. <laughs> um when will you play roblox um so i don't know because i just go on roblox kind of randomly i mean on my instagram stories i'll be like going into roblox today or like gonna play some roblox so i end up seeing a lot of you guys there but i'll probably um 
let you guys know on my community tab too next time I go on. Probably soon, considering it's quite fun to go um, play on there. But I definitely would go on the Miraculous game. Um, let's answer three more questions. Drum roll. First one is, what's my favorite episode? Ikari goes in. Um, do you think Plague can end up like taking the future too? Um, like going crazy. So we have seen him use his power on his own. I don't think he would go crazy. Um, like the way that Tiki did, unless whatever happens to Tiki does happen to Plague, which I think could be from S Verity Queen's doing if we see Verity Queen, but definitely has something to do with Tom and Sabine being akumatized this episode. And the last question, um, if Chloe figures out that her mom didn't give her the magical charm, will she get rid of it and Hawk Moth will figure it out? Oh, that is an amazing point and like great question to finish this live off on. But I think that's super possible. And I'm thinking that in the Gabriel Agrest episode, Gabriel will begin to look into the magical charms and possibly use himself or someone else like Lila or... Maybe Lila snooping around Chloe to see the magical charm. Because it's weird that we see Gabriel's reaction in the episode Queen Banana. And, you know, he's like, what's going on? Why can't I akumatize her? So I need to see, I need to see him actually, like, begin to consider this, look into the situation. Um, but yeah. So that's going to be it for today's live. Thank you to everyone who always comes on the lives. They're so much fun. And I love talking to you guys. I'm going to have plenty more boxes to come and to unbox. It had such amazing stuff. And again, if you want to get your own Zag boxes, you can search Zag Store Miraculous. It's going to pop up and you can get the subscription boxes. But yeah, so we're going to most likely get a new spoiler today. So be sure to have my post notifications on if you want to see them because... This is, these are definitely going to be for a new episode, and if it's for Dearest Family, the 99th episode, 21st of this season, right before the biggest one, that episode's going to be huge. But thank you guys so much for being on the live, and I will see you guys very soon, most likely later today. Bye!